Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to share with you how I actually did a little experiment. I had seen uh, a lot of people posting on YouTube how to make their own enamel dots. And I've seen a couple of different videos and some of them um, use the uh, ponytail beads like these. Um, you can actually get them even at the dollar stores. That's where I got this one, a small bag, and I thought I'd try it. Um, but a lot of videos also um, say to um, use these uh, um, perlers. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, here's the top perler beads. The things that the kids make with um, um, the little templates, and then they heat them, and it, it makes a... Um, make some fuse together to make like these little um, different designs. Well, um, you can get these in the big buckets like this one from Joann's or Michael's. And uh, the great thing about these are, or even the ponytail beads, uh, you can usually get them. You get a small bag at the uh, Dollar Trees or, or uh, Dollar Stores, but at the craft stores you can actually get the the big bags but you can use your 40 percent off coupons um, so I wanted to do a test and test the two different kinds but I did get these bigger ones of the parlor beads um, they do have smaller ones but I wanted to see how how the big ones turned out and the videos say to um, to heat preheat your uh, oven or toaster oven to um, 400 and it takes about 20 minutes or so to melt them well I had done some for a project for National Scrapbook Day and I had only done the ponytail beads and they come out really good so I decided to test the two um, and see what they look like and here's my results you got to make sure you use the parchment paper and um, as you can see these right here are the um, ponytail beads and then these bigger dots are actually the purlers the big purlers um, and they come out great look at these and you just pop them let it cool for a few minutes and then pop them off the only thing is every once in a while you'll get some that doesn't melt all the way. Let's see if my camera will get this. You can see how in the center there's a little bit of a dot, but that's okay. It's very few that do that. Most of them turn out really nice. What I love about these perlers is um, the vibrant colors that they have. So now I have a variety of the smaller ones like these and then the bigger ones. Um, and the purlers, you can get packs of just one color if you're wanting to do a big layout or something. But they also have more of metallic colors, so I'm going to have to try those and get some of the smaller ones to try. But I just wanted to share with you um, how easy this is. I mean, smells up your kitchen a little bit, but it's not that bad. Turn on a fan or open a window and you're usually pretty good. And then you let these dry and, and whammo, use a little adhesive and put them on your pages. Um, and if you check out uh, my blog at rachel's um, creative space.blogspot.com, you'll see some of the um, layouts I did for National Scrapbook Day. And one of them, I actually used these little enamel dots. Um, and it turned out great. I really like how this worked. I'm so glad I've seen uh, these videos on YouTube. And I really uh, suggest you uh, give it a try. It's really easy. And I, for now, have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.